Hmm, why is my car door open? What the heck? Oh yeah, I have to leave it open to let my car dry. <laughs> Yesterday I did the stupidest thing ever and the funniest part about it is that I didn't even notice it until you all pointed it out So in my video yesterday I did a carpool karaoke with my friend Marcel and we were just driving around the streets and I needed a car wash I've been needing a car wash for so long and we went through the car wash, right? Oh! I've never done this before, but uh, I kind of had my window rolled down a little bit. Just crack. And you guys all caught it. Everyone was like, Rug, your window was rolled down. Water was coming into your car and you didn't even notice. And after reading those comments, I quickly rushed to my car and I open up the back door. And immediately, as soon as I open the door, like a flood of water just comes down and it's like pouring out of my car. So yeah, this carpet is still super wet. It's literally soaked right now and it's going to become molded and it's going to smell. And I kind of just f***ed up. Look at this. It was just cracked that much, but I didn't even notice and you guys noticed it okay I have to slap myself in the face for that one like I, I have to but anyways what's going on guys phase rug here and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video and I hope you guys are all having a great day as always and that was just not a great way to start the vlog uh, my car literally got flooded at the car wash and I actually had no idea until you guys all pointed it out how many times do I say this in my videos that sometimes I literally don't notice things in my videos while I'm recording while I'm editing until the video is up and I read comments you guys are detectives you guys literally scope out every little part of my videos and that's a good thing just so you guys could see every little thing in the video I swear I probably wouldn't have noticed that my window was rolled down until you guys told me but guys I'm getting so many tweets and comments saying there's an old video of mine popping up on your recommended page and it was literally my first ever vlog YouTube why are you doing this to me why are you recommending a video to all my fans from like four years ago and it was super super cringy actually I'll let you guys be the judge of that my first ever vlog was less than a minute so I'm gonna play it on the screen right now what's up guys phase drug here and I'm bringing you a quick short vlog uh, letting you guys know that I've been active on my channel like I promised I would be in 2014 uploading every other day and if I don't upload every other day it'll probably be the next day after uh, the day I missed because I actually enjoy making videos now and I don't know why I never made a lot before but uh, starting uh, from last week I've been making uploads every other day and you guys seem to be enjoying them because I get a lot of great feedback which I love and a lot of support so keep up the good work and I'll keep up mine or I'll try so um, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that I've been being I've been active uh, for a week now, like uploading every other day, and I'm gonna stay active. I know I've said that, but I don't know why I keep repeating it. He looks really tired. <laughs> he looks dead tired right now. So uh, I'm gonna let him sleep. But yeah, you guys just want to see him, so there he was. There he is. I mean, uh, so yeah, uh, this was just a quick update. Let you guys know that I'm gonna be uploading. And subscribe if you're new, uh, leave a like, a comment on this video, uh, peace. So yeah, what'd you guys think? I think I vlogged way better four years ago than I do now. Like, the quality was better, the way I talk, the production for my videos. I think I was a way better vlogger back then. What do you guys think? No, but really, I have no idea why it's been getting recommended. Literally, all my fans and supporters are tweeting at me, commenting on my videos, saying this is popping up in my recommended page. YouTube, recommend my better videos. What are you doing? So you guys all remember how I played Rico from Hannah Montana, Moises Arias. Yep, that's me, Rico from Hannah Montana. I was an actor on Hannah Montana, got to meet Miley Cyrus and everything. Well, today I was on Twitter and I don't know if you guys remember Oliver from Hannah Montana. I'm gonna show you guys a picture if you guys don't remember. You guys remember him? Oliver Oaken from Hannah Montana? Here, I'm gonna find a picture of us together because we go way back. Ah, uh, throwback Thursday. So I was on Twitter earlier today and I saw a tweet from Oliver and it was a super funny tweet and I favorited it. I didn't follow him because we kind of got in some beef back in the Hannah Montana days and he actually followed me after I favorited the tweet so I followed him back so he might catch up, grab some lunch, I don't know. But hey, I'm gonna try to link up with him and kind of reunite since Hannah Montana I haven't spoke with him in so long because we got into like a little fight We both had crushes on Miley aka Hannah Montana and we both fought for her and I don't know It was a huge mess back then, but I think we're gonna try to fix this friendship. Oh my god Where do I come up with these things? No, I always joke around saying I'm Rico from Hannah Montana because literally everybody Everybody used to call me Rico from Hannah Montana back in middle school I've made plenty of videos talking about it I got recognized at the mall and I thought someone recognized me because I'm Faye's rug No, someone legit thought I was Rico Rico from Hannah Montana and she took a picture with me and I played along with it and I'm like do I really look like Rico I mean I used to in middle school guys my teachers would call me Rico like every single person that knew me in middle school would call me Rico from Hannah Montana so I just played along with it and that's just like the little joke but no really Mitchell Musso aka Oliver from Hannah Montana did follow me on Twitter so who knows maybe I'll invite him over to my house or we can link up and I'll probably vlog with him if you guys want to see that 
All right, guys. Um, so I'm extremely bored right now, and I was on YouTube and I watched a prank by CJ is cool. I believe that's his YouTube name. Shout out to you. I've been watching your videos lately. You're killing it. His wife had his kid pretend he had a pencil stuck in his eye, and they put fake blood all around here. And they went to the father, and it looked like his son had a pencil in his eye. And I'm like, oh my god, if my mom saw anything like that, she would flip out. So basically, my dad is in on this, and I have this piece of glass right here. Wow, I am so. Cruel. as I'm explaining this I realize how cruel I really am to my mom from all these crazy pranks I've done on her but basically um, I told my dad to take my mom into the office and edit their video I have this fake blood here I got this glass right here so basically I'm gonna be in the kitchen and I'm gonna drop a glass bottle and I'm gonna pretend this piece of glass got lodged into my eye like this and then I'm gonna put fake blood all on my hand, all on my face, and it's gonna look like this piece of glass is stuck into my eye. <sighs> I'm kinda scared to do this one, guys. Like, I need to put my acting skills on, and we're about to go do it. I hope you guys do enjoy. I'm actually really scared to do this because my mom freaks out if she sees blood, let alone she's gonna see a piece of glass stuck into her son's eye, okay? I'm gonna go set up a camera downstairs. My mom and dad are in the office editing. I told my dad to distract her, and there's gonna be a piece of glass stuck in my eye. All right, we're gonna go set up the camera, and we're gonna get this done. breaking the glass over there and I'm gonna be laying in it with the piece of glass into my eye with blood all over my hand and face and yes mom I will be cleaning up the glass because this is my prank and I'm probably gonna scare the shit out of you so I'm sorry about that oh my god guys I'm so nervous to do this but let's get everything set up all right so here's the cup that I'm gonna be breaking my dad allowed me to do this um, the blood and then the glass so right now let's put the blood on my face and my arm and the glass and why am I so nervous to do this? So I'm gonna put some on my face right here. Put some all around my eyes. Wow, this looks bad. All right, so the blood is dripping. Now we hide the blood, of course. It's gonna look like that. I don't know if you guys could see the glass that well, but I know my mom's gonna see it. So we're gonna drop the glass now, lay on the floor, and see how this works out. Guys, why did I break real glass? Good thing you guys are wearing shoes. Brian, no, you didn't do this to me. I swear, <laughs> no, I'm really... Wait, the fake blood got in my eye, literally. So here's the scenery, guys. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, careful. Wow. Uh, wow. I'm, I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> Where I saw. Does my eye, like, does that look like too well, much blood? Sure, or sure, is that sure. like, is that good? Oh, let me see. Uh, it looks let like see. somebody look... punched you in ow, the ow, eye. ow, ow, ow. Okay, I have to wash off real quick. Hold, hold, hold on. on. Are you okay? Get over. I don't know, because... I heard something. 
like yeah, glass breaking. <laughs> yeah, and then you just scream in a million years. I didn't think like glass in your eye and how that thing was there. It so, jumped from the floor. And I don't floor. know if I should take it out because they say keep it in till the nine one. Yeah, why would you take it out? That was just a test to see if you would really take it out. No, I didn't. I didn't know what to do. You I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to go oh. blind. Like, my eye was stabbed oh, with glass. But oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Hold on. I don't want to step in glass because it's literally everywhere. But, uh... Oh, my. I'm going to just clean off real quick, guys, and I'll pick up... Look at those two doubles. They're so... I cool. was yeah. just, like, a little oh. bit in it. Not much. One one thing real quick. Don't try this at home. No, no. Never. Don't try putting glass in your eyes, kids. No, don't prank your mom like this. Yeah, that's right. But no, I know. I actually gave her. It's okay. I gave her a heart attack with that one. Sorry, mom. <laughs> wow. No. Which one was worse, the Tic Tacs and pill bottle, or this one? See, there's so many. I don't know which one to pick. Okay, this. I'm gonna wash out. I know there's blood stains, so my face is. Better. Oh. Oh my okay, god. Damn it. But at least it's, it looks good. <laughs> okay guys, we will catch you when I clean off. Okay. I've been washing my face for the past 20 minutes and it's still red. Like, look at this. It's not coming off. Mom! Don't call me mom. <laughs> it's gonna be like the boy who cried wolf. wolf like, yeah. you're not gonna believe me anymore. Oh no, I think if they make fake blood, they should make it like easy to wash off, not stain. Dad, how was that? Knowing that you were in on it, how was the acting skills on that one? It was good. I mean, really? I was, yeah, I was scared for your mom. Like, I don't know what to do. Should I end it or? <laughs> we always give my mom heart attacks with these pranks, guys. But I think I'm gonna end the video there. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to drop a like, or all this blood will get on you. I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm just a like whore. Never do this to your mom because yeah, moms guys. always believe and get scared. Leave it to the prankster, okay? Yeah. Leave it to me to keep giving my mom heart attacks. Don't do it to your mom, okay? <laughs> Shout out to CJ So Cool. I saw this prank oh, where so his cool. kid had a pencil stuck in his eye. I'm like, if my mom saw something like that, she would freak out. So I want to give it a try. So guys, please subscribe if you are new. Become a Rugrat today. The Rugrats, one of the greatest fan bases on YouTube. I love you guys so much. On the road to 10 mil, we're still like three and a half million subs away, but still, we could do that by next year. I know we could. By the end of next year is the goal. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and other than that, it's been Rug. Mama Rug. And Papa Rug, who was in on this, and he's trying to get away with it so my mom doesn't no, get mad. believe me, what, what's gonna happen behind the camera, we can't show. <laughs> and we're out. Peace. Peace.